Hello and welcome back to the channel. Following on from a video with the Hornby 2 bill that I uploaded recently, this time we're going to have a look at another multiple unit, um, this being a Class 150 in first Great Western livery uh, from Backman, um, also known as a Sprinter, I believe. Now, this one came from the same toy fair but from a different seller and was a bit more expensive. <clears throat> so this one is a particular interest to me because um, there's still either one or two of these two car units in first Great Western livery that run along our line here between I think it's Exmouth and Paynton. Um, they're the only two left that are still in this livery, all the others are in the more normal GWR green. And uh, on occasions when I have to go to work, um, I do actually catch this one, as if the main train is delayed, which is quite often. So that's the main reason I went for these. I've been after a first Great Western one, or just normal Great Western one for ages, and you just don't see them. I don't know why, they seem to be extremely popular. So as I say, this is a Backman model. Just show you the end of the box. Class 150 DMU, number 128. This isn't the actual one I see here though, unfortunately. And it comes in one of these boxes. And you can see it says DCC fitted on there. It's got all the paperwork inside. Now this was from a seller that we know reasonably well. And DCC fitted is no good to me. He let us take it away from his stand and go over to a different one, but they had some track to try it and it didn't run. <clears throat> so he said, uh, I don't I don't want it with the DCC fitted, so we'll leave it. Um, he came and found us a little while later and said, look, if you want, I've managed to uh, catch a screwdriver from someone. I'll, um, oh, and a blanking plate, I'll take it out. Um, put the blanking plate in, you can have it and I'll knock another 25, 30 quid off. Um, yeah, couldn't really say no, could we? So this actually cost us 120. It says 155 on it and it's DC now. We did let him, let him keep the chip though. All the paperwork's there. And it's in lovely mick as you can see. Now this is the driving car. This is ridiculously heavy. Now, unlike some other DMUs and similar things I've got, the driving wheels are this end. So in the middle of the unit, really, rather than the front end, like the Hornby one was the other day. Don't know if that makes it any better or worse, but yeah, but it does pick up on all these wheels. But I just have a quick run over some of the detailing, which is really nice. As you can see, it's uh, been well done. The paint works great. I'll just zoom it in a little bit. Yeah, the paint work's been lovely, beautifully applied. You can see the little uh, stickers there. The lovely uh, purple doors. Bogies are nicely done, movable steps so they don't just break off as you go around the corner. Nice handrails, all fitted in nicely inside. This end's darkened out a bit and I think that's because that's where the motor is. Well, that is where the motor is. But the underframe is uh, superbly done. Yeah, really nice. I was really impressed with this. You can see the front end. There is a snow plow to fit on the front, but um, just so I was getting ready for this video, it fell off, so I haven't um, got to put that back on. It's got working lights. It says on the front there, it says uh, Gloucester, I think. And again, down the other side. Very similar. But 
good looking thing, really nice. Now this connects up with the other car, with one of these that um, does carry current between the two. I think this might be a little bit stiff. Seems very stiff, but it is, uh, it is set up to um, move as it goes around corners, but it's very, very stiff at the moment. So, um, although I've not had any derailments, I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, that's, that's pretty stiff. So that's how it pushes together. So drop that back on the track. We'll have a quick look at the uh, trailing car. Yeah, so for this one, the driving wheels are here, not at one end. I don't know how many other Backman Deer Mews are similar. I've got a couple more and they all drive at one end. So let's have a look at the, uh, the non-powered end. Nice door in there. And that's where the uh, connecting plug fits in there. And see, this one's much looser. Still sticks a bit, but it's a much looser. Again, it's got all seats. Same quality paintwork. With the door opening buttons and the various symbols. That's where you take your bike, look. I can confirm that is true. Not that I use a bike, but I've seen people struggling. Nice ribbon across the roof. Beautifully painted again. Excellent under frame detail. This one does have the uh, snow plow on the front. In fact, you can see the other one down here. It fell off. Again, lights, handrails on the front. Uh, where's this one going? From, I'd like yeah, from. I'd like to be able to change that to make it a bit more, a bit more local to me. That maybe Exmouth one end and uh, paint in the other or something. Anyway, it's all kitted out with seats, various levers and pipes and. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, the overhead wire sticker there. Yeah, this is really nice. So I'm just gonna get them connected up, which I won't bother doing on camera because it's a bit of a clumsy thing. And uh, back in a tick. So there's the Sprinter down on the track. This is a uh, five pole motor with a chunky little flywheel on it. And I think the tooling first comes from 2014, but um, I'm not sure how old this actual model is, or in this livery anyway. So how does it run? Let's have a look. For me, Backman, DMUs, EMUs always won fantastically. Hardly a sound. In fact, I'm going to turn that other one off. And the Rapido one, I think. So all you can hear is me clock ticking. So there's a little bit of engine motor noise, but not much. see the front lights there. The full suite of internal lights as well. I don't know if they'll show up because it's a bit dingy today. It's, a, it's the middle of the day. It's a bit dingy and I have to put me um, <clears throat> extra light on. If I turn it off, there we go. I'm 
Just see if we can pick up the internal lights. Yeah. There she is. I'm going to get around on the uh, main line, give her a couple of laps, and see what we think. Back in a minute. So there she is up on the main line, if you like. I'm just going to turn the light off again, just so we can see the lights a bit better. See all the lights there, all the internal lights are working fine. Directional red and white lights on the front and rear are working perfectly well. So we're gonna send this round, see how she gets on. One thing these Backman multiple units do do is make an excellent clickety clack sound. Also got an excellent crawl, these things. They must have really good motors in them. So there, that's the uh, Backman Class 150 Sprinter in first Great Western livery that cost us either 120 or 125. Um, is that a good deal? It looks like it might be. I had a quick, quick search on eBay and they seem to be around 350, or between 250 and 350 quid. I'm not sure they're exactly worth that, but um, I think 125 is, is a good price for this. And it is a gorgeous runner. So I definitely recommend one of these at the right price and if you get it in the, del in the livery you want. It's certainly worth the money. So let Toby go past again. So what do you think of these? fantastic in my opinion so thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one and see what we can come up with for that one cheers for now bye